Hey, how's it going, you guys? Bumpkin Bros here again today with another podcast for you guys to all enjoy, whether you're chilling at home, relaxing on the couch, ready to take a snooze, or just working or getting ready for the day. We're here to entertain you guys with, uh, well, what's going to be our subject this week, Riley? Well, we're going to keep the trend of Black Ops, and the next one is Black Ops 4. So that is the game we are going to be talking about this week. Uh, got a lot to say about this one. So definitely, yeah. definitely. Before yeah. we get started, though, Riley, I have a very, a dire, important question. Very important, like it's okay, aching, okay. aching me at the okay. chest and in the bones. Um, okay. Out of all the entire Black Ops series, what would you say so far out of these games would you say is your favorite multiplayer weapon so far? Mm, okay, so like, I tend to go to a lot of, uh, I don't know, I got, I got a couple of mine. So I love the Galil just overall. I love it in BO1. And I also love it in the BO2 zombies as well. Um, I got to go, I really enjoy the RPD as well a lot. That's another one I used a lot in zombies, but fair used in uh, multiplayer as well. Um, BO3, I love the CUDA. That is like, I love the CUDA so much. That is up there for me, like one of my all-time favorite guns probably. So either the CUDA or the Galil probably. Gal Galil's been consistent overall in like both games. So. That and they keep bringing it back into like every yeah. game in some form. So I, you... <laughs> love, I love when they bring it back, dude. Yes. <laughs> That's what about you? some really solid picks. Um, For me, you know, it's tough because off the top of my head, I want to say Commando from Black Ops 1. Oh, my God. That's another one I forgot about. That's another great BO1. But the more yeah. I think about stoner. it. Stoner. I love the Stoner. Yes, stuff. the Stoner was a great one, too. Phenomenal name, yeah. too. Um, yes, but, top tier name. Um, <laughs> but the more I think about it, the more I keep going back to BO2's M27. I don't know what it is okay. about it. It just is such. Yeah, I don't a, really use that one that much. It's just a AR platform, and it looks nice. Yeah, I don't know why it always draw drew me to it, but I really like the M twenty seven, and it was a uh, the only zombies map it was in was in Bo 2s Nuketown. Fun fact. Oh, okay. So, but it was a very solid pick in that map. It was right up along the uh, Galil when it came to. Like a solid okay. pick for uh, assault rifle at high rounds, but in multiplayer, it was a pretty solid pick as well. I really enjoyed it. So the M27 does that go back and forth between semi and auto, or was it just auto? yeah, it does. If I believe okay, that. I thought so. Yeah, but okay, yeah. yeah, that's a good pick. That's a that's a, a pick you wouldn't hear that often. So I like that. I like that answer. Yeah, I wanted to go a little bit unique because I don't know why that yeah. gun just stuck with me so much, but it really did. And you know, BO2 had a lot of good. Really solid picks out of all. Mm -hmm. I mean, each game has amazing guns. What do you think out of the games we talked about as far as the most consistent weaponry? Like, just I'm gonna weaponry. rule out World at War because the snipers in that game are broken and yeah. you can't hit anything because the iron sights are off. Um, BO1 had a balance, a lot of good issue, guns. but a lot of oh, like, did have a balance meta, issue. The meta that was there was like. You, the guns that were on top were on top. The AK-74, gotcha. the FAMAS, the Galil. Love this U. Um, what is it? The is AK-47. Like those are like assault rifles dominated that game, and they do most yeah. Call of Duty games. But yeah, definitely. I mean, I would say for like overall balance, I'd have to go with probably either BO2 or BO3. <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. Oh, dude, you're going to make yeah, everybody probably, tired with the yawns. I'm not going to be able to make it through the podcast. Just kidding. The BO2, I would probably would, would I probably would go with BO2 for me. I feel like that one just has a lot of very consistent all through. BO3 was very consistent, too. I'd probably pick BO3, but I would not. I think BO2 is right along with it with gotcha, yeah. balance. I mean, it was, I mean, I'd. The fact that they did have the riot shield, though, was a little bit broken because you could just have that on your uh, back. Oh, my. Yeah, the riot shield. I forgot about yep. that a little bit, but still, I mean. Me too, dude. <laughs> I would say for overall balance, BO3. But moving from BO3 gotcha. into our subject of today, Black Ops 4. Whoa. Ooh. BO4, dude. Okay, so 
Now this one, I, so me and Taylor are gonna be kind of going good cap bad, good cop bad cop on this one, I think, because I have I have so many memories on this one. This was the one I grinded instead of Bo3 because this was when I was in high school, so I was actually able to play mature games, and I was, at that point I was disappointed I missed the Bo3 heyday. So I was like, all right, hopefully Bo4 is just as popular, which it wasn't, but um, I really enjoyed a lot of the maps, and I just enjoyed going for the uh, um. Ah, crap, I'm blanking on it right now. What's the uh, skin? The Dark Matter. The, the Dark Matter, which I didn't even get close to. But, uh, yeah, it was just fun because this was the one I grinded the most probably in high school. I do have a lot of... Because I pre-ordered this game and I thought it was going to be BO3, the sequel. 2.0, you know? yeah. Yeah, yep. and just they were going to build upon BO3, build upon what worked, and make it even better. And as we all know, that they could have made it better by making a campaign. Yeah, and a lot which, of other things, which we're skipping over, but because there isn't one. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really depressing looking back and feeling the hype that we all had building up yeah. towards Bo4. And this was like my very first super hyped because World War II, I wasn't as hyped for, but Bo4, I remember being so hyped for this game. And I and I am not even gonna lie, I was even when I got, it, I was like, oh, I love this, but like. Looking back at it, way not as consistent as a lot of other Call of Duty games, especially for the fact that it's literally missing like a third of its like main part of the game, which I know they like, replaced that with Blackout, which we'll get into, but I wasn't even a huge fan of that in the first place. Yeah, but, but it really again, wasn't a proper replacement. You can't replace it wasn't, a single-player story-driven narrative with the Battle, battle Royale. Ram, with a yeah, knockoff for it, essentially. So, That's exactly what it was. Yeah. It was just a cash grab. Just to, for more money. Yeah. Yeah. But the battle pass. Today we will be going over kind of like a light summary over the non existent campaign now replaced with Blackout, <laughs> multiplayer, and zombies. And we'll be kind of so going. The campaign over. followed Frank Woods and Mason as they went on a mission. <laughs> Dude, stop putting good thoughts into my head of what could have been. <laughs> but exactly, dude. Essentially, we'll be kind of talking about our favorite memories and kind of our thoughts about that time period and now, with hindsight, how we think about it now and kind of where that game yep. kind of stands. And we'll be... This game... Well, down the road, we'll right. be doing a full review of uh, yep. Black Ops 4 and each of the Black Ops games in the series and all of the Call of Duties eventually. But At some point, yeah. Yes, but for now, in the build-up to BO6, we just want to do a easy, lighthearted podcast, hanging out with you guys, chatting about another game in one of our favorite game series. Yes, yes, because, yeah. Uh, but BO4 is six years old this year, which is just crazy, dude. Crazy that it's going to be six years old this year. I was uh, 16 when this game came out. I was, uh, believe we were uh, either saw, we probably saw, no, we were juniors. I think we were juniors in high school. Yeah, we were juniors. But, so. Yeah, but yeah, dude, uh, different time back then, dude. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Had so much sure. more time to play Call of Duty. A lot of, so if we're hopping into the multiplayer side of things, I mean, yeah, personally, a lot of my memories with multiplayer, and I did grind it to the point where I was max level, I didn't end up prestiging in this game because honestly, I didn't find the I didn't find myself playing it with people as often as I did Black Ops Three. Um, right. And then when I did play with people, it was uh, blackout at times. Um, yeah, but when who what I did play a lot of was uh, I really liked that you could do split screen. Uh, multiplayer. I remember that. Me and Carson did that a bunch. Yep, that's yeah, what me and that my little fun. brother did a bunch too. And we would. Uh, yeah, he's my we, little brother. Sorry. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> basically, that's a lot of my fond memories of this multiplayer was coming from playing it split screen because they still had that at that point, and playing it together with him and having a good time. And I remember enjoying like the specialist system, and I would always play as like the recon guy. And then I'd be able to see people on the mini map before uh, yes, anybody yeah. else. And uh, I overall, I mean, I thought it was pretty enjoyable. I can't think of like a standout multiplayer weapon off the top of my head that I used regularly. I mean, yeah, I remember using the KN fifty seven and then the Grav because it's I just the Galil. The grab is just the Galil and the KN-57, you know, it's just the KN-44 with a reskin. I mean, pretty yeah. much all the guns in this game were just, most of them were just reskins of old guns. 
but then like he got into like the smg territory and it started getting like dicey with the type of guns that you got like the uh mx the gks but yeah the gks the spitfire yeah. was at least a somewhat normal one the sog the sog was horrible I yeah dude the sog was dog, dog shit but uh yeah. then they ended up bringing back the vmp i forgot about that but uh oh really yeah is that but I wasn't playing the multiplayer when they ended up doing that. But I, gotcha. dude, the tactical rifles were so bad in this game, and I would get them all the time in the box and zombies. The swordfish, yeah, the swordfish and the auger. The yeah. auger sucked. Um, then of course, then eventually, then DLC they brought the Titan M sixteen. Yeah, for light machine guns, they had like the Titan, the Hades, the VRM. I mean, they weren't terrible, but they just felt like underpowered. Yeah, I. I remember using them as a little bit. Yeah. I honestly just, I mostly used the can and the ice, the, I think it was the ICBR or something. Like that. Yeah. That was another AR. I remember Can trying to say quick it? scope with the uh, outlaw bolt action sniper rifle. I actually like the outlaw and the, and the paladin. I remember, I, I remember that one too. Yeah. That, so like there are some pretty memorable weapons. I mean, don't even get me started on the Helion Salvo rocket launcher when it comes to the zombie side of things. But like <laughs> for multiplayer, I mean, most of us just stick to SMGs and assault rifles anyways. And I mean, yeah, I can't think of like any original ones that were like huge standouts that weren't just recent. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of ones. Them. So, yeah, which is, yeah, there wasn't a lot of amazing weapons, really. Like, I really only remember going back between a couple. But I, I remember the maps quite a lot, and it's probably because I played this game a lot. But yeah. the maps on here, like every single one I see, I, I recognize like all of these. And I, I enjoyed the maps for the most part for what they were. Like yeah. Contraband, I really enjoyed. Arsenal. I like how they remastered the firing ranges. I re I remember enjoying I liked that. uh grid oh. or grind. Why did I say grid? Grid grind. Lock? Grid lock? No, no, no. Grind, grind. The one yeah. where it had all the skate park and that sort of stuff oh um, yes the skate park i enjoyed that one icebreaker i really like that one with the snow that one was pretty good yeah the nuke town that they did again i didn't think it was a yeah. terrible nuke town, Honestly, but it, it's probably my least favorite out of the four we've seen so far I, looking at it from this i was like yeah i just no wonder i can't picture it in my head because i got cold wars over this one too it's just kind of like it's a depressing like nuke town it's kind of depressing yeah it's just kind of like uh over um uh, over there's clouds in the sky. I can't think of. I can't. The think overcast. Of overcast. Yeah. It's overcast. Yeah, and it's. I think the, is that the snowy one too. Yeah, that's Nuketown, the snowy. Yeah, it's one. the snow nuke town. Yeah, there's yep. snow on the ground. But I mean, that's they brought snow. back a lot of Black Ops One maps. <laughs> they brought back good. Summit they again. Did. They brought back Firing Range and. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What was it? it was slum. Yeah, slums was another one that they brought back. Slums um, they brought back. Yeah. But I, Ooh, I enjoyed it, Seaside a lot. Seaside was another pretty. It good. really kind of sucked though because it felt like a lot of the originality and a lot of their time and effort went into the battle royale mode for even yeah, multiplayer. That too. was the annoying part. That was the annoying part. It's like know, they sucked the assets out of the multiplayer. They sucked the assets out of the zombies, and they sucked all. Literally left us with no campaign to get a shitty battle royale that they then doesn't even exist anymore today because warzone took it over this warzone took it over yeah which is better by the way oh yeah it's a lot actually better. we won't get into that until we get into the modern warfare the newer modern warfare trilogy but yeah for now it's like but yeah i mean if there was a favorite map i would probably pick uh grind out of all of them um for me you said yeah. contraband was your favorite probably no it's probably either grind casinos up there as well i enjoyed casino. yeah casino was a very solid pick i'm yeah. Remember playing a lot of that one, and underrated. I would definitely Icebreaker. I enjoyed that one quite a lot. I just like the airplane. It was small map, so it was like action nonstop. I... Jungle. I'll shout out Jungle. That's not an all time favorite, but I thought that was a fun one. I remember the. I can never pronounce it, but I pretty much all. <laughs> I can never pronounce it, but uh, Hacienda. Oh, Hacienda. Yeah, Hacienda. I saw that. Yeah. That one was, I really like the look of that one. It's just kind of nice on the eyes. I've always liked that one. Yeah, I, like I just remember that. always getting killed by the people in the upper level. And it was just, <laughs> I never Dude, had a good time. So annoying. So, yeah. but, that was annoying. 
Havana. I mean, Every time I got Havana, I would go Havana. Ooh, nah, nah. Oh God! That song? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I know that song because it was not on the radio for like five months straight. But back, like honestly, five years ago, oh, so overplayed. Yeah, so, we're in high school kid. But speaking of overplayed, but really not because nobody played it. <laughs> I was like, "What are you? Where are you going?" Was to? blackout. Because I guess we should, oh, yeah, now that we've been cool. tearing into it for enough, I mean, like, we can give our yeah, overall should, ratings to multiplayer, but, I mean, I guess that we should just go straight for the... For Let's straight, go right for the jugular. Yeah, right for the jugular, because, I mean, that's <laughs> really what needs to happen here. I mean, hit the elephant in the room, because, um, damn, Blackout really screwed up everything in BO4, and it was all to bring back... Really did. Like, they basically threw a bunch of maps together and then had a bunch of dead space with vehicles and weapons and a whole crappy tier system. And they and anytime they made updates or anything like that, it was all, we're adding this to Blackout, we're adding that to Blackout, we're doing this to... It's like, nobody wants you to be doing crap with Blackout. Focus on what people came here for. The multiplayer, the zombies. The multiplayer and sand zombies. <laughs> and now, because we don't even have a campaign. And fun fact, there was a campaign in development when they started development in 2018. And then because of the yep, success of the other elephant in the room, Fortnite, yep. um, it totally derailed everything it. that BO4 could have been. Because... They scrapped it and made the specialist like stories instead, which we're not even. That's not even gonna have a whole section in this video. I'll briefly talk about it right now. I I remember when I got, it, I was like, all right, please be something, please be something. And then it was always just like cutscenes all the time. It was so so boring. But okay, that's all I'm gonna talk about the specialist. No, stories no, about. actually, tell us more about the specialist stories. What was it? Because I don't remember off the yeah, top. I don't of even that. really. I don't even really flip it. No, because I watched like two of them, and they were all I remember from them were just like like two three minute cutscenes of like the only one i remember is of ruins and it was like in a room i think and he like jumped over a couch like someone broke in or something they were just like action kind of like cutscenes or whatever yeah and that's all i remember from it. so like, it's I don't, there was basically like, no, just a cheap way to just give character, character development kind of yeah yeah pretty much yeah. it just was lazy and i would have way preferred a campaign I really think that that's a perfect word to describe BO4 as lazy because, I mean... Lazy, yeah. Lazy, uninspired, cash grab, completely... Cash grab. ...using a amazing IP for nothing more than to short-term profit to try to line your pockets. And it's pathetic looking back, and it's really sad because really of what BO4 could have been. And I'm not trying to... Again, I don't have all terrible memories with BO4, but then it's like there was so much hope for this game, so much yeah. anticipation. And then uh, just because, you know, a different game came around and was had a different, an entirely different genre and so, yeah, players was... playing it, like people will still come and play your game too. It doesn't yeah. mean that Call of Duty's non existent, but considering you just. And not saying that you're the only company that did this. So many companies did it. And it's, oh my God, it's pathetic so looking many. back. And it's like, wow, really you guys is. are all just trying to chase after uh, basically a bus that had already left the station. Mm -hmm. And it's like, the, let the people that came up with it refine and get better at their things. And why don't you stick to what you're freaking good at? Making good at. Call yes, of Duty exactly. games and not trying to make a retard... Sorry, my, my language. A dumbass <laughs> fucking piece of shit battle royale game. And there aren't bad I there are ideas that I liked. I liked having a bunch of different character skins. Didn't like the fact that they're all DLC and paid or the yep. fact that you had to do a bunch of BS challenges to do it. Um but other than that, I liked seeing iconic areas brought back and that sort of stuff, especially in the zombie side of thing. But then looking back, yep. it's like, okay, you guys just reused assets from either the B the Black Ops 3 now going based off nostalgia. Yes, and use nostalgia bait. And then then you look at the entirety of the zombies lineup and it's just redone re remakes essentially. And all uninspired crap because all the assets were going into blackout. It was all just yep. blackout assets. And then you guys I had the opportunity to do another Zombies Chronicles. You brought 
tons of zombies assets that didn't even make it into the zombies mode into blackout to basically sit there and die because you guys didn't follow through they were supposed did you know that it was they were trying to set black ops 4 up as a this game's gonna get content for years to come. We're gonna I remember have a, when they were saying that shit. We're gonna have, I think it was like a five year game life cycle, and we're gonna support this game for five to six years and keep it going. And they didn't even make it through the first fucking year, dude. Exactly, bro. They gave up so fast, bro. It was and that just they were just going. They were just going for the money. Exactly, like they were gonna stop once people stopped playing, which was like instantaneously because. People so saw right easy. through the BS. And yeah, exactly. I mean, and then so Blackout was just an utter and complete failure. You spawned in with, you know, a pistol, you found your credit. It's basically like every other battle royale. Do like I PUBG or Fortnite. Yeah, do I even need to explain it? It just had a we call of duty scan. It. It's dumb. I guess if you anything, explained it good enough. You drop and you get and you spawn and yeah, get guns. And you and try you, to get a the person who, who gets first place wins. Gotta get that Fortnite battle pass blackout pick shoved the stick the up my ass i'm <laughs> gonna die now because i hate this fucking bullshit call of duty <laughs> <laughs> blackout 100 percent. there is like there's really nothing like i don't mind i like the zombies in campaign but i i can't be the good cop for a battle royale because there's nothing i don't there's, like anything about it if i want to play a battle royale i'll go play a different one i and Blackout, you can't even play anymore. Can you even play no, this? I don't even think you can play anymore. When I was trying to do research and pull up links, I pulled up a battle, a Blackout. Uh, go download it now off of Call of Duty dot com for free and play it. And it's like your guys' servers aren't even fucking available, but your yeah, even website's <laughs> still up to get people to download it. Like the fuck? that just shows how they have nobody on top of things over there. Yeah, I, I really don't know if the servers are down completely or not. I'm going to go off of the assumption that because nobody's and they have Warzone. Yeah, literally have why Warzone. Would it so, be, yeah. Why would it be up and running? So Exactly. And you can just go on Warzone if you want to play Call of Duty uh, Battle yeah. Royale, which I don't even know why you'd want to. But <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a complete... Warzone's a little better, but it's like the Gulag. I like the Gulag. Yeah, I mean, honestly... <laughs> I don't hate Warzone. I really don't. I really They've wish that they would stop better. making everything about Battle Royale because, guys, it's 2024. It it's not 2018 anymore. Exactly. Like, Fortnite like, isn't can even we that fucking popular anymore. Move on? Fortnite's not even that popular anymore. Like, yeah. can you guys just do the fucking game that you guys came here to fucking uh, make, like, dude? Just like they're they're literally off. trying to get new fans. It it just, it just pisses off the old fans. Yeah, that's and all exactly. they do is cater to them, and that's or, the issue that we're running. Advertising. That's the issue we're running into Black Ops Six is they're pulling bullshit shenanigans again and saying, "Oh yeah, we had all this development time to create original stuff for zombies." After they showed a multiplayer map that the fucking zombies map is built off of. And it's like, you guys are yeah. so full of it. It's complete shit, man. <laughs> it's, it's garbage. Are we supposed to take a word, a word you guys say for the truth of everything you say is out of your ass? Oh. Yeah, I, it's literally just straight out of the ass and right into the mouth with them. <laughs> so it's like a giant game of telephone but instead it's fucking human centipede from the executives down to the person who's got to fucking make the twitter post so and then the <laughs> keyboard's all brown and shit sorry guys for the yeah. visuals <laughs> gross yeah sorry guys <laughs> i'm just so i'm just so done with the, just the corporate bs and how it's like yeah let's focus all on warzone all on warzone all on warzone all on blackout ever since black ops 4 has come out it's been every single call mm -hmm. of duty every single one. every single one of them and it's like do your job Release we don't want call it. <laughs> of duty not Listen fortnite to with dance. a call of duty skin on it it's <laughs> pathetic and sad and it's just a waste of everyone's time and like the last eight years of cod has just been a waste of everyone's time honestly it really has or six years six since time. black ops six years since black ops 4 but they were doing the dumb shit in world war ii yeah they've been so. pulling dumb shit since freaking advanced, like advanced warfare, warfare. Advanced warfare was the beginning of the absolute garbage shit that from them yeah 
but it's only been progressively getting worse from there. It's just been a downhill fall. And I mean, like, yeah, here's exactly. like the absolute cracking point where you had where people let it slide, let the shitty manipulative loot box stuff slide with BO3 and with Infinite Warfare, because at least you could still get the stuff through gameplay and you didn't have to do yeah. it. But like here with all this shit and it's just them catering like, to all this stuff. Yeah, it's just like, them. Like lost very much. Yeah, this is easily Call of Duty at its or lowest. Or Vanguard. Vanguard could be at its lowest. Oh, yeah. No, know. no, no. You're right. Vanguard <laughs> is the lowest point. But like up until that point, this point, up until then. Yeah, this was, this was Call of Duty up until then. Yeah. yeah. And I guess. And there's still some parts I like to it. Yeah. So I wouldn't even say this is like shit, shit. But like Vanguard is it like there's like not even anything to like about that game. But that's for a different video. But BO4 is just like I don't uh, even like shitting on like, that game. I don't like shitting on this game. I I don't like shitting on I know, games. Me too. In general. I don't like shitting. It just because yeah. at the it's end of the day, it just makes me sad because of what could have been and what we were promised and what was ultimately unfulfilled promises and false advertising. Exactly. So we're supposed to be escaping from reality and enjoying our time, and how are we supposed to be doing that when it's just? And I guess when it comes to uh, huge letdowns, I guess we can talk about zombies. The zombies <laughs> mode. Just, just keep the trend going on this game because yeah. it's just a letdown after a letdown after a letdown. This is just a depressing but, episode today, lad. On this. It's gonna be more of a good cop on yeah. this one because I actually like zombies. A you know more than black. I. They had a strong start. And I will give them that 110%. They had a strong start with the zombies. The unnecessary mechanic change with the whole perk system and making it unnecessarily complicated oh, and having to set it up in a creative class and then yeah, doing all that stuff was... And then the change to the systems with the life system changing, you having... In the when the game first came out, you had way too little health, so you died way too easily. When they patched that, you then you had way too much health, so then the game was way too easy. And it's basically like starting off with jug, and there's no balance to it. Then you have the specialists that you spawn with, which is like spawning with a wonder weapon that you just need to get a few right. kills to get. And it's like the core mechanics that they changed did not sit well with people. Um, the fact that they had four maps to start was pretty yeah. cool, but at the same time, yeah. it was also overwhelming because it's like, where do I even start with this game? Right, which one do I start with? Yeah. And then they really tried to split the zombies mode down the middle between the chaos storyline, which was this brand new story with new characters, new area, you know, new, but still zombies to the, to somewhat of a core. And then, right. then they realized that people still want the old crew around. So then they That's and they needed the to wrap up their story. So then they split it up into two completely separate storylines. So when we launched, which we makes had, it confusing. Yeah, it makes it confusing as shit as to where you start. Uh, the initial maps launched were um, ancient. And what were they? They were. Um, Cla classified which was a remake of five from bo oh one. that's where the remake of five was okay, okay. nine which was in set in like a roman coliseum blood of the dead which was a remake which was a yeah a i wouldn't even say a remake it was a reimagining or a new map in the same location that mob of the dead took place in Gotcha. And then Voyage of Despair, which took place on the Titanic. That's so, the one that took place on the ship. Okay, okay. I knew one of them took place on the so ship. So Voyage of Despair 9 took place in the new Chaos storyline. I like both of those maps. I know people. some people don't like Voyage of Despair because it's kind of like... It's so close. Yeah, yeah, it's just so yeah. close. It's just so close quarters. That's their main issue it with is, it. I understand with that, but I kind of enjoy it. I enjoy it for what it is. And, but 9 is probably by far... Like, that's the one I played the most... I had the most time on that one. Me and my buddies would be hopping on that. That was like... I remember that was like the first... Call of Duty map, I believe that actually we started trying to go for Easter eggs on. Like I remember we tried to start going for that Easter egg, but it was just it was hard because I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really know how to go for Easter eggs at the point I really gone for any. But yeah, you know what I mean that that was a really fun one. I yeah, 
I mean, I really enjoyed 9-2. It was a very solid yeah. pick. I liked the just the starting room you could train in. It was wide open. You had yes. a ton of space. Yeah. I mean, I liked I thought the Wonder that Weapons were decent, whereas like a, I think it's uh what's it's the Orion, but it's basically like a scorpion that shoots electricity. Mm-hmm. And uh, that. that was a pretty neat uh i'm a huge history buff so i i love stuff like yeah this. i enjoyed the different like themed gods and that sort of stuff yeah like odin zeus um i can't remember the last one but uh then yeah i mean i really enjoyed it, it had a phenomenal atmosphere same with voyage of the spirit oh, it's like you had it had great at amazing atmosphere and it's like you had a great opportunity the main thing that could have done get, so much more. Yeah, you could have done so much more. It's like you had you're yeah. on the Titanic for crying. Like exactly. it's even just any other ship. Like you have the opportunity. You done so, so and that's what people got disappointed with is like the Easter egg is like you're fighting a random sea monster or the <laughs> like it, yeah. Or the iceberg itself. And it's like you yeah, guys could have had an opportunity to save the Titanic, have like a cool story about how you rewrote history and dip, and then you guys completely blew it for a lackluster s- story for that map. Yeah. But I mean, for nine, yeah. it was really cool. And then seeing all the characters oh, yeah. get killed off. Um, yes, dude. Uh, that <laughs> blew my mind. I was like, wait, that we was just cool. We just got introduced to these guys. What do you mean they're dead? Yeah. But then you find out cool. later on that it was all a dr- like a vision from a potion. So, oh yeah. So they went back in time and they died. But then when they died, they just woke up. Oh, so. okay, okay. That was like a cutscene we saw in the beginning, right? Of them all like dying. Yeah, that was the cutscene that you see is, um, yeah, them drinking that weird ass green yeah. Shrek, Shrek potion. But uh, right. honestly, if there is oh, yeah. a map that I can consistently go back to for Bo4. It's got to be nine or the next one that I'm going to talk about, which is classified the remake for five. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to talk about that, too, as well, because I love that. Man. I, so, yeah, ahead. I think that they did like for a nine for a five remake. They did a phenomenal remake of it. They did a great job yeah. making the Winter's Howl a good wonder weapon again. They expanded the map in good ways that made it fun and a lot less. At least they than it wasn't. It. Than it was in the original. I mean, having right. the our OG Primus crew th- or the OG Ultimus crew there was a little bit odd, as opposed to having you know JFK and all those guys because that was yeah. great to have. Yeah. And then there was no Pentagon thief in that map. They just replaced it with dog rounds. So oh, okay. That That's uh right. that was a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, it's better than nothing. So. Um, honestly, that's my go-to for like a high round. I just want to go back and play and have fun. That would be my go-to map to play. Yeah, I would agree with you. Five and nine for me, probably too, because classified or five or whatever you want to say, I, that's one. I just I can get on that one at any time because I love five from Black Ops One, and they expand to it. And I could see where some of the complaints would come in. That's just a reskin of an old uh, zombies map. But I I think what like what you said, they expanded to it. They added new things, so they. You know, so I, I love, uh, might as well play it with the newest graphics. It looks great, so. Yeah, exactly. And that's one thing that I haven't done yet is I have heard that BO4 is one of those games where you get a significant bump in graphics when you move to next-gen hardware as opposed to last-gen hardware. Yeah. And, like, when I do. Like, from 1S to Xbox One X. Yeah. When I, uh, yeah. When I do eventually get, because BO4 is the one Black Ops that I don't have on PC right now because they want you to have a completely separate launcher just to launch BO4 oh. out of all the Call of Duty. Yeah. It's like, really, guys? So I, I haven't bought it yet. So. The one that's the shittiest one, of course. When we do eventually do a full review of it, I'm either going to have to bust out the Xbox where I have my full copy of it on there, or I'm going to have to bust... Uh, the wallet open and get it on the PC. And I really don't want to bust the wallet open for a dog shit game. So exactly right. Yeah. I already when it's wasted my like money once on this now. game and they're still probably going to charge even on sale, probably like 35 bucks for the max edition or 45 bucks for the, where you get all the maps. So yeah, ridiculous. But that I guess can bring us on to what were the uh... blood of the dead. Okay. Okay. But what were you gonna well, say? So was this the first? I was just gonna say, what were the uh, expansions like the the ones that they uh, 
So the, the DLC stuff. maps they ended the up DLC, coming yeah. out with was first Dead of the Night, and we'll get into why they failed so hard with the advertising and because there was no advertising this just like the name and plot it really literally these. dropped in the dead of the night without anybody knowing <laughs> about it and it was just kind of like you got up one day and it was like uh there's a new map there was no trailer there was no announcement there was no tweet nothing it just kind of dropped it on it just kind of dropped it and then I don't think I got the DLC on this game. So. And then Ancient Evil was the one after that, which took place in like ancient Greece, and that was pretty good. Oh, that's sick with like a mummy? No, uh, I don't think. No, there wasn't a mummy in it, but it was more oh. like there was a uh, there was a uh, Pegasus. You uh, there were skeleton warriors. It was um, you're trying to fight oh, like <laughs> you're trying to bless you. <laughs> Go up Plus. against Medusa, like it's pretty cool, and it is a that cool sounds map. Cool. I'm not gonna lie, that, that's that sounds sounds kind of similar, not similar to nine, but like in same like history, like and I I like that. Yeah, they did a really that, cool that, job that with Ancient yeah. Evil, and it is a really fun map to play. I will give them credit, and the Dead of the Night aesthetic is really cool. A lot of is things, good that they, again, yeah, probably. good atmosphere. A lot of things that they could have done to make it not so annoying, but because basically how they released it is they had the two and two for the launch maps, where they mm -hmm. had the two chaos, two uh, ether storylines, and then they did the right. same thing with the DLC where they released two chaos, and then the last two were ether maps. So then the, the last two maps were Alpha Omega, which was a remake of Nuketown. Zombies. Oh, oh, really? You know the one that we needed a remake of. So right, right. the one we really needed one. And of. then the last one was Tag Dirtoten, which was a remake of um, what was it? King Dirtoten? No, not Kino. It's a Kino? remake of uh, Call of the Dead from oh, Black Ops One. Dead. So now all of the, oh really? Yeah, now all of the Black Ops One maps have been remade in some so sort are these of actually like remasters not or remasters of it. if they were proper so they, remasters it would be as close to one to one but they basically took the maps and built their own maps out of it and then right so it kind of comes off as lazy yeah <laughs> so it's basically just reusing assets and they had literally ported over the entirety of the call of the dead lighthouse into blackout off of the get-go so they have had that in the engine since the get-go and all they did was just build the rest of the map around it and it's like right. you guys are just God, fucking lazy it's so much more yeah and this is just, and again that, that word keeps coming up but that's like the perfect word to describe this game just like they could have done so much more with all of it. it just feels like a rush production I'm yeah like, it was a rush it. mess and the fact that they totally get in like the thing that the developers use as an excuse is they took away all of our budget and all that stuff it's like you, you guys make so you, much money I feel like this the, game. Well, they probably put all the budget in the stupid war zone, which still looks like shit. So exactly, that's what they Not did. Really and even then, it's still dog shit. And I don't want to hear about whining about money, whining about this. You guys make racks off they, of this series. Even when the games are shit, they yeah. still make. Racks. Even when the games are dog shit, for some you guys still I, make racks because you guys are just like a FIFA, an NFL game. You guys it, make a game every year. You change a few things, but now you guys have more development time and you guys have just blatantly fuck everything up recently. And it's just so terrible. And yeah. I didn't even talk about Blood of the Dead, which was a launch map. And that was oh, the yeah, remake of right. Mob of the Dead. Um, and people were just so I liked the map for what it was. Because, uh, truth be told, I didn't play as much Mob of the Dead as I really, nowhere near as much as I played Origins. So I didn't quite have gotcha. as much of a connection with Mob of the Dead as I did Blood of the Dead. Or as I did, I didn't have as much of a connection to the original map as some people do. So it didn't upset me as bad when it wasn't a perfect one-to-one. -one. They made a new story. Right. It still fit into the, into the storyline. It was... Originally in the original timeline between Zetsubo, Noshima, DLC 2, and Go Red Krovy, DLC 3, there's like a little scene where they kind of make a unexplained trip that isn't really talked about, but they keep on hinting that they took a trip somewhere, but we don't know where it was. 
and then <laughs> it ended up being the blood of the dead prison and basically this okay. is like in the zombie storyline this time around instead of this cycle continuously happening over and over again where they get to the prison they collect the blood vials to keep them in the cycle and then they move on but this time around it changes and the blood something goes wrong in the cronorium the book that basically tells them everything that's going to happen in all the multiverses changes and basically oh. tells them, hey, you're fucked, man. So there's that, like that sounds like a good lore. One. It was good a lore. very solid story, and it was a very solid. It made me. That's when I didn't. Out of all four of them, that's when I played the least, probably. But that's when I. Knew. It really made me excited to see where they were gonna go with it, and yeah, then sounds interesting. to release. I get it. They released the two new storylines that was supposed to be the next thing to continue on the zombie storyline because you know the original story isn't going to last forever yeah but that they totally dropped this story and people like this did they story drop line. it with cold war did they drop it with yeah cold they war? totally dropped the chaos damn I, I like both of these maps so that yeah i don't cool see i them. don't hate chaos either i thought that they were starting yeah. to do a good job with it and if they the thing is, because they didn't want to go, they didn't want to go a hundred percent in one or a hundred percent in the other. So then, both ultimately end up being mediocre at the end of the day. So right, and then we again, we were promised a great war map, and this one literally again ended right. the Elfo Mega Cat scene with saying, "We're going to the Great War." And then you fuckers release the fucking remaster freaking call of the dead man yeah yeah like come on like what is that that's the biggest <laughs> that makes no sense. All of call yeah. of duty history they screwed over all the cutscenes. all of them were com you can tell in the beginning they were high budget they were in-game assets or completely done outside of it and then yeah from alpha omega onward it's like story it's like written drawn cutscenes and all that crap oh so really so it is not even like, like uh, they literally that's so lazy it is so it's so lazy that's all it is that's so yeah they fucked up our storyline they fucked up a grand finale of a damn twice. near they fucked it up twice yeah they fucked it up twice now and then now it's to the point where like because they didn't know what the hell they were going to do. Then when Cold War finally came out, they were like, okay, we're going to go with a, n not a new storyline, one that's still set. It's set after all the events of everything that takes place and the ether storyline with so it basically is at the end of this, everything that happens in these universes gets sucked to the dark ether. Oh yeah. And then and in this War. new, in this new timeline that's happening where Samantha and Eddie and Rick Toffin basically, cause they were kids and they were the only mm -hmm. ones that got to walk away from this whole scenario with their souls and everything intact. Cause every, all the characters die at the end of it and to basically seal up, seal up and end this endless cycle that they were stuck in. Um, right. And then it goes on to kind of, then Samantha Maxis and Edward Richthofen as their adults in this new timeline and how the Dark Ether is trying to open up again and basically reintroduce zombies into this new world that everything yeah, was true. supposed to be shut off from. So and that's So Cold War is like a separate that's a separate story. It's not no, like it, connected it, to the it's still connected. Or well, but it's, it's I... far enough down the road, okay. Like timeline wise, where it's like 35, 25, 35 years off of what the events that happen at the okay. end of Tagged or Toten. So gotcha. Okay, so it's just it's more in the future. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically a new timeline, still in the same zombies universe, universe but it's okay. basically a different timeline, essentially. Gotcha. gotcha. And that's why I it's like people you. when. They saw BO6, they saw Edward Richtoff and potentially being playable again. That was huge because everybody Is he gonna is he gonna be replayable? Uh, not, sure? not 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 so far. People really thought so and they teased him real hard in that cutscene and then they just ended up going, Yeah, you know that whole thing about us having dedicated characters for each map? 
nah, you guys can nah, have operators yeah. on this one, and then the other one will have dedicated characters. It's like what? make up. They're your, gonna do operators. Make, make up your mind. Yeah, and it's just so dumb. So, I mean. I can't help but see, now too. that we've gone back to BO4, a lot of connections and parallels to this upcoming BO6 game that, yeah, God, fingers crossed, does not end up it, like... Yeah, it just does better. Just do better than Just do better than BO4. I mean, you could literally... At this point, I will be happy if it's literally just... I feel like it's not that hard. If it's the same level as Cold War, then I will be happy. You guys had... Yeah, all exactly. The- I enjoyed Cold War. All the ability to make it better than Cold War in any way, in every way. But clearly you guys aren't yeah. showing that yet with BO6. So it's like mm-hmm. until we see that, it's my hope is just just be as good as Cold War. That's all I hope for. Yeah, that, that's that's all or not. Yeah, just be as good. You don't even have to be better. Just be as good. <laughs> just don't be worse. Just don't be worse. That's all I ask. You guys have already screwed us over so many damn times. And I mean that's just the the whole feeling that I get from BO4 is that it was just a lazy money grab release that was, and the end of yeah. the day, it screwed over the longtime fans of the series, and it has been a black stain. It's exactly what it was. It's been a black stain on the Black Ops series, and I think that you'll agree with me on this that out of the total rankings, top of the list, bottom of the list, <laughs> dude, <laughs> absolute garbage. How dare you? No. 100% dude easily easily by far the easiest one to pick so far no question bottom of the list like yeah. there's no question there's no campaign the battle rail is shit the zombies is rough around the edges as well as the multiplayer multiplayer is probably my favorite part uh, yeah multiplayer and zombies are probably my it's one of the two and if both, there was one thing know. that at least didn't shit the bed on itself the entire time it was the multiplayer player because at least yeah I mean, they had original maps they had a lot of remakes just like the zombies but at least yeah. it was a multiplayer experience that was comparable. kind of felt like fast food yeah it's it's good every once in a while but <laughs> yeah you don't want to be old. living off that stuff so yeah exactly <laughs> but i guess uh i mean yeah i mean overall those are just our feelings on black ops 4 well, overall. we got it going one two three four now is that how it is yeah so really it's specific? one two three world at war four. Oh, i always forget about world at war my bad <laughs> yeah, yeah world at war four you know? no worries sorry world at war <laughs> yeah honestly if i could just move you like as far away from the bottom of that list because it's not even fair to put world at war anywhere oh. near that game because no no no, no. like world at war in, in black ops four is like, it's like gone. comparing an a tier to cool. like a D tier. Yeah, if we tier list these, like they would be in way different columns. Like you would see the difference. And honestly, we we talked about it in one of the other podcasts. I think it was the BO one one, but uh <laughs> BO one one. But <laughs> essentially at the end of this, once we get to the before BO six for the final podcast for uh Cold Wars review, we'll pull up a tier maker would, list, get them all out and, right at, at the end of the video. Yep. Go and yeah. make our definitive Bumpkin Bros 2024. We should both do our own. We should both do yeah. our own and just and then see if like they're the same. Yeah, because uh, right now we're kind of agreeing. I think we both agree it goes one, two, three. World at War four. So. Yeah, for like definitive that's... overall packages, I would say that would be for favorites. Yeah. That's but a bit trickier. for favorites. It might be we might do favorites for the tier list. Yeah, we should do favorites for the tier list. But um, but yeah, yeah. I mean. Overall, at, truth be told, dude, this got me in. I was so out of Call of Duty after this game that I seriously did not pick up another Call of Duty until Cold War released. I won't really. I think I was. Wait, go ahead. Sorry. No, like I. That's pretty much it. It was just like, dude, that got me so out of it that I. And even then, I didn't even pre-order Cold War. My mom got it for me for Christmas because really? she just knew that she that was a series that I liked. And I, yeah. it was on sale, and it was like, oh, you know, I guess I'll give it a shot. You know, they right. really de- ruined my perception of the series with BO4. And I didn't even yeah. know where they would end up going from it. And that's why it was such a shock to me that it genuinely... It was a lot better than you thought. Dude, it genuinely was the biggest surprise in the whole wide world and uh, uh, to me how good cold war i can't wait to talk was. about it next week dude yeah because yeah. i love that game as well i have so much to talk about and i love 
Cold War. In good, positive ways. <laughs> yes, in a lot of good ways. And it genuinely gave me faith in the Call of Duty franchise again that there could be, you know, good stuff again. But for mm-hmm. BO4, leave it in the dirt, yeah. man. When leave BO4 happened, a lot of people were thought, thinking it was the end. For me, though, I was still into the I was still in the series. Like I remember my senior year of high school, Modern Warfare uh, 2019 came out. And I got that game right when it came out. I loved it. You know, I'm a huge campaign fan. Yeah. I kind of got that game more for the campaign anyways. But I loved the campaign in that game. And the multiplayer, I played a little bit, but I enjoyed it for what it was. And, oh, wait, we're not getting into that. But, I, yeah, my uh, when I stopped getting into each new Call of Duty game, the last one I got was Cold War. And then after Cold War, Vanguard came out. And just from the amount of hate that got, just from, like, the trailers, and I watched it myself, and I was like, this looks dog shit. That was the last one. I didn't even, well, actually, I didn't get that one until later. And then for some reason, I bought it, my dumbass. And then for a long time, that was the last one I got for a long time, Cold War. And then I didn't get one until, what was the last one? Modern Warfare 3. So yeah. Like three we, years. That was the last one I got, too. Um, yeah. Well, before we close out the video, if you guys want to hear some fun Black Ops 4 Blackout trivia, I'm here. You got some trivia? <laughs> I got some trivia for you. Did you know? All right, hit us with some trivia. Blackout was developed in nine months. Development began in early 2018 when the original campaign was called Career, before the Black Ops 4 career mode was scrapped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me it only took them nine months to figure... Yeah, that, I'm not surprised at all, actually. Nine months, yeah. That seems about right. Another actually, I thought fact. it was more like three months. Blackout was originally called Warzone and was referenced as such in the files. Really? So Mod Warfare stole their original Black Ops Warzone. That was the original it. name that they went for it, but then they changed it to and Then they changed it to Black. Last second. Warzone sounds better anyway. So yeah, it does. Did you know that the map that Blackout took place in was actually set in California, considering that there were California State Route 1 signs found along the uh kind of like sides of the maps leading into it. I did it. not know that. And then it's fancy stuff. This might lo- might interest all you transit fans out there, but Trevor you're going to say trans fans. Yeah, fair. If, if <laughs> that's how you float your boat then Treyarch might might have it in so store. I shouldn't have said that. Now they're going to make a trans man. <laughs> Transformers right. robots in disguise. <laughs> but transit so the bus from transit was actually Treyarch toyed with the idea of bringing that into the blackout mode for a period of time bringing back ted and the bus and a bus route and all that stuff um then we would have possibly gotten that fabled bus route b that never came to fruition from the original transit that would have been kind of cool though maybe the only cool thing in blackout if it actually came out and then what is it Oh, Sorry, I was trying to warn no. you before I did it. <laughs> no, and then the last and final fun fact that I have is as of December 18th, 2018 on PS4, the multiplayer specialist characters are automatically unlocked and are playable with anyone who had completed the character missions previously get, would receive a playable weapon skin called the Numbers where it basically flashed a lot of like the Black Ops 1 numbers that you would see in yeah. Mason's uh, whole, you know, PTSD scenes and all that stuff. So, yeah. but That's cool. Also, the last fun fact, I didn't, I actually didn't, I forgot about this, but did you know that the uh, game itself takes place in the 2040s? Really? Yeah. So it takes place even further in the, oh wait, no, it takes place in, so in between BO2 and between BO3. The, I did not know it, t- it took place in the 2040s. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. So that's why some of the same operators are in BO3 and BO4. And then, then there's some new ones because they probably retired. They were too old to be in the next They became, they're like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, dude. They retired. <laughs> and I, I just wanted to shout original out. actors. <laughs> yes. Real recipes to original actors because those, those guys were legends. But, um, I wanted to talk about a few of the operators because we didn't really talk about the operators. We talked about in BO3. Yeah. But I just, because this one, I, I played a lot of the operators on this one. So Ruin, I remember using a lot. Ruin was a fun one, as well as Ajax. I wish I could remember what they did. What what did they do? I'm just going to shout out their names because I don't feel like doing research. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Crash was in. <laughs> and we're right at the end. So I just wanted to shout out a few 
before we wrapped up. Yeah, I really like the... the uh, what with the electricity? Yeah, I really like the field recon, dude. Because he was just... Yeah, I saw that one on there. It's just a regular regular Joe. But he had a decent just ability. Like, so. Dude. Just, yeah. just like you and me. He's like a regular... Yeah, he's just like you and me. He's I guess like you could call him Joe. a family guy. Ah. Yeah. Oh, Lois. I see in there. Lois, I'm coming. Lois. <laughs> coming home. <laughs> uh, Lois, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Da 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 da. But if you guys enjoyed today's podcast episode, then please hit that like and share with a friend and just comment us why. Comment to us why. You either think that Black Ops 4 is shit and you agree with us, or please try to tell me why you are, yeah. you know, wrong. Why you like comments. it. No, I'm, I'm, cu- so. I'm curious how many of, of, of you uh, are on the same boat as that hate on this game or people that think it's uh, overhated, you know, you know, people that think it's underrated. So, you know, the, and I kind of am in the, in the underrated boat, but there is some aspects with that. I just, I can't. And get everybody it. is allowed to have their own opinion and that is valued here. No, nope, Taylor's opinion even is if the your only valid opinion. Even if your opinion is wrong. So <laughs> God damn it, Taylor. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to say. HR right now quaking their boots here in this. <laughs> That's it. He's getting rid of for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but please uh just stay tuned for next week's podcast and uh we'll see Cold you guys. Cold the next one. Yes, Cold oh, yeah. War. The return wait. to a good Black Ops. Can't wait. Yes. Catch you guys then. See ya. Turn faith into humanity. Peace.